friend in this video we're going to talk about the rift valley region in this region you find the rift valley a rift valley is a lowland region that forms where earth tectonic plates move apart or rift they are both on land and also at the bottom of the ocean the rift valley has different inhabitants which include lions leopards elephants rhinos buffaloes cheetahs giraffes antelopes zebras and also primates in the Rift Valley, there are also other physical features which include lakes, mountains, and also hot springs. The Rift Valley has two arms, which are the Eastern Arm and also the Western Arm. The Eastern Arm starts from Asia to Mozambique. It has quite a number of mountains, which include um, Mountain Kilimanjaro, Mountain Nyiragong, Mountain Kenya, Mountain Longonot, uh, Menengai Crater, Mount Karisimbi, Mount Elgon, and also Mount Meru. The lakes in the eastern arm of the Great Rift Valley include Lake Manyara, Lake Eyasi, Lake Nyasa, Lake Natron, and also Lake Turkana Orido. The western arm of the Rift Valley starts at Lake Albert to Lake Tanganyika, where it joins the eastern arm at around Lake Malawi. So has it also has quite a variety of mountains, which include. Virunga Mountains, Mutumba Mountains, and also Mount Renzari. The lakes in this western arm are Lake Tanganyika, Lake Kivu, Lake Edward, and Lake, Lake Albert, and also Lake George, among others. The economic activities carried out in this area include tourism due to the national parks, e.g., um, Queen Elizabeth and Lake Nakuru of Flamingos. Um, there is fishing, e.g., in Lake Albert. There is mining, e.g., oil in. Lake Albert and salt in Lake Katwe. There is animal rearing, e.g., the Maasai and the Turkana. There is water transport. There is hunting, e.g., in the national parks within the Rift Valley. There is crop growing, e.g., maize and cotton in the Mabuku irrigation scheme in Kasese. Like any other area, Rift Valley also has problems when you settle in it. Some of these problems are steep escarpments that hinder development of transport and communication lines, e.g. near Lake Albert, there is low rainfall in the rain shadow areas of the Rift Valley, e.g. in Kasese. Rift Valley lakes are very deep, hence they are poor fishing grounds, e.g. in Lake Tanganyika. Rift Valley regions contain soils which are sandy, hence not favoring farming. Rift Valley areas are prone to earthquakes and volcanicity, which are destructive to human survival, e.g. Mundiwija. Steep slopes in Rift Valley areas hinder mechanization on farms. The escarpments are associated with soil erosion, which leads to loss of soil fertility, e.g. in Mundiwija. Rift Valley areas are infested with pests, e.g. Sese flies which spread Nagana and cattle. Some areas of the Rift Valley have got dangerous wild animals which scare away human settlements, e.g. lions and monkeys within Queen Elizabeth National Park. Like any other problems, these two have solutions. Um, irrigation can be used in the rain shadow areas to provide water for crops. Soil erosion can be controlled through terracing and contour plowing. Reforestation and afforestation can be used to control landslides. Spraying with pesticides to control pests and diseases within the Rift Valley. And another solution is fencing national parks to ensure security of people from wild animals in the surrounding areas. 